Subprocesses allow you to add details behind activities without overcomplicating a process diagram. For example, if I'd like to add some more detail behind my established start date activity, I can right click it and say, select convert to subprocess. I can add some additional activities inside it, indicating what happens during the established start date activity. For example, first I contact the candidate, then I negotiate a start date, and then confirm the start date with the candidate. When it comes time, I can click the minus button at the bottom of the box to collapse the subprocess and show only the appropriate level of detail as necessary for my audience. If I need to reuse this subprocess across different processes, I can right click it and say save as linked subprocess. This allows you to create a separate high level process inside Blueprint that you can reuse and use just like any other process. I'll give it a name and put it in my human resources project. We've now created a separate high level subprocess inside Blueprint called Established Start Date Process. You can click on the HR onboarding link at the top of the screen to get back to the original parent process. There's now a link icon in Established Start Date that you can click on to get back to the subprocess we just created.